Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanted to show basic commands of the VI editor. That is the editor that I use in most of my video tutorials. And there have been questions around how I performed some of the steps in those tutorials pertaining to updating files or creating new files. Many times I don't talk about the exact key commands I used. And so in this video, I will walk through very basic usage of VI, mostly for beginners or those people that need to follow my tutorials or just need to update some files but are not Linux or Unix experts um, and that don't always live in the command line world. Uh, this is not meant to be a full comprehensive tutorial. Uh, you can find many uh, other videos and tutorials on YouTube and elsewhere to dive deeper if you wish to do so. Uh, but this is just to meant to um, help answer some of the questions that I've seen uh, in the YouTube comments, as well as help those that are beginners to um, quickly be able to modify files using the VI editor. There are other, other editors in the Linux operating system um, that you may prefer, uh, and you can look into those if you need to, but hopefully this video helps uh, you out. So with that, let's get started. Okay, so um, once you've logged into your server using an SSH terminal, uh, maybe an SSH client like this one that I'm using here, which is the Bitvise SSH client, you can also log into your uh, server using the web-based SSH client that is provided by LightCell. So if you go to your LightCell dashboard and then go into your instance, uh, you can use this one right here, connect using SSH. And what that will do is open up the SSH terminal in a browser. And so you can, you can uh, log into your server this way, or you can use an SSH client as I've done here. And I had, do have a video where I show you how to set up an SSH client uh, for the LightCell environment. Uh, so go check that out if you need to learn how to um, log into your server using an SSH client. Um, so the first thing that you will do once you log in, let's say you want to open a file. Obviously you need to open a file to edit it. So there are two types of files generally that I would say. Um, one, are, one type of file is configuration files or system files that need elevated privileges to be able to modify them. And typically to get elevated privileges, um, for the user that you are logged in with, you would have to use a command called sudo. And that is S-U-D-O. Now, if you use that and then followed by any other command, those com subsequent commands are always run under that super or elevated admin level privileges. So to modify system files and configuration files, you have to put sudo in front of the command. To open up a file in the VI editor, you have to type in the VI command. So that's the command to open up VI. And then the path to the file. So in my example, I'm going to open up the PHP INI file. So that is located on my server at opt bitnami php etc slash php.ini. And uh, before I get, go any further, I just want to tell you that I do have a keystroke logger installed on my computer that will help uh, identify the keys that I'm typing. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to configure it to only show certain keys, so it's going to show all the things that I am typing. Uh, but I will uh, call out the commands that are important for uh, basic VI usage. Um, so go ahead and, uh, you know, type in sudo, then space vi, and then the path to the file that you want to open for editing. So for me, it would be the PHP INI, hit enter. And as you see, this file is now open for um, editing. And I can scroll through the file just using our cursor keys. Um, you can go up, down, or sideways, and you'll see that there's a cursor that's blinking here. Um, now, one of the first things I want to show you in VI is to how to exit or quit a file and go back to the command prompt 
without saving. And that would be colon, Q, and then the exclamation point, and hit enter. And that will exit the file, close it, and not save any of the changes that you may have made in the file. Uh, now, if we want to open files that do not require elevated privileges, that do not require the sudo command, then you can just op use the vi command directly and maybe we'll open the wp config file for that. So if you wanted to open a wp config file uh, on my server, it's I have WordPress installed in a subfolder called mdub.site. So I would just type vi and then the path to the wp config file. There we go. And now this file has been opened uh, without uh, the pseudo elevated privileges because wp-config really doesn't need that in my scenario here. So now this file is open and I can edit it. So one of the first things I want to show you is how to uh, insert a new line and add a code at that line. Um, so what you would want to do is let's say I'm in my wp-config and I want to insert code between this define line right here and then this define line right here. So between these two lines, I want to insert another line and add a code there. So what you would do is take your cursor to the line just before where you want to insert and type the O key. And what that will do is insert a new line right below where the cursor was and also make our VI editor into insert mode. And the modes are kind of uh, depicted by some text down here. So as you see, it says insert. So I am in insert mode, which means that anything I can type will actually be, addi be adding to the file. So here now I can type another define. So if I say define um, anything else, um, I'm not sure what else, but some code and then true or false. Now that I'm finished with inserting a line and adding my code, um, by the way, while I'm in insert mode, I can do any number of things. I can, if I wanna delete, just hit the delete key or the backspace key um, to uh, remove some text. If you want to hit the delete key, you can also do that and, uh, and anything else that we need. Uh, so you can add the code back in, just say some code. And I think I said true. So there we go. And now that I'm finished, once you are finished with your change or modification, now you want to save the file. So what you need to do is remove the insert mode. So you wanna get out of the insert mode, otherwise you won't be able to do any other commands in VI. So to do that, just simply hit the escape key. So escape always goes back to the default VI editor mode. So now you see there's nothing here. So now I'm in, uh, in a uh, in the default mode. Here I can uh, type in other commands to um, uh, to the file. So for example, now that I added this line, I decided, you know, I really don't want this line. To delete this line, I can just hit the, uh, I can hit the command dd. So typing in dd twice deletes that line. Now, what if I wanted to insert or go into the insert mode without necessarily adding a new line. So let's say I want to actually modify, um, uh, let's say if I want to modify this line and right now WP underscore debug property or configuration is set to false, but let's say I want to make it true. So how would I do that? So uh, first thing that you could do is now, right now we are not in an insert mode or any, we're in the default mode. So if you type in X, the character X at the cursor, it will start deleting the text. So X, 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 X. So I just typed in X and each time you type in, it deletes one character from where the cursor is located. So that got, that was deleted. Now, if I wanted to insert the word true, instead of typing O, because that will create a new line and, and have us go into insert mode, I would just type in the key I. If you type in I, you'll see that I am in insert mode, but a new line did not get created. Now I can type in true uh, to replace the value false to true. Once I'm done with that change, again, to exit out of insert mode, you would just hit the escape key. And then to uh, save the file, what you need to type in is colon, W, Q, and then the exclamation point. So this 
here will save the file. And that writes the changes to the file and exits out of the VI editor. If you wanted to save the file without exiting, you would go back, let's open up the file again. So let's say I'm gonna make the change again to back to false. So just like I was showing you before, you would hit X to delete all the characters that you need to get rid of and then hit I and now type in false or the new value that you're trying to uh, add. Uh, again, to exit out of the insert mode, hit escape. And then let's say I want to continue making changes to this file. So I don't want to quit and exit for that, but I do want to save the changes. So what you would want to do is hit colon W and then hit enter. And what that does is it just writes the file or writes the changes to the disk, but it does not exit me out of the VI editor. So that's how you would do that. Some of the other commands that while you're in this file, you may want to do is, let's say my cursor is right here in the middle of this line and you want your cursor to go all the way to the end of the line. So if you want to go to the end of the line, you would just hit the dollar sign key. And then you can see it's right at the last character of the line. If you do the caret, which is shift six, it will take your cursor to the beginning of the line. So as you can see, now my cursor is now at the beginning of the line. So you may need to do that from time to time. That's how you do it. If you want to undo a change, let's say you've made some changes, but now you want to undo, you would type in the U command. And as you can see, if I do U, it's undoing all the, uh, uh, perform, all the steps that I performed to, uh, up to that point. So that's undo. If you want to redo the change, then it would be control R. And as you can see, it's redoing all the changes that I did. So undo is U, redo is control R. Um, and now again, if you want to exit the file without saving, you would basically, um, or actually I do want to save this change because I want to leave this to false. So I'm going to hit escape once and then just type in uh, colon WQ and the exclamation point, and that will save my changes and exit out of the file. So the next thing I want to show you is uh, searching text inside a file. The WP config file is not big enough for us to do a good search, but let's open up the PHP INI file again. And when you're in your SSH terminal, you can always hit the top arrow key to uh, bring previous commands back up onto the command line. So I could just, so as I was, um, I just had opened up the PHP INI file, I just have to go up and find that command and then just hit enter. So that saves you some time. Um, so while in my PHP INI uh, file, it's a pretty long file. So if I wanted to search for a, a line of text or a term or a word, how would I do that? So the first thing you would do is type forward slash to go into search mode. And then now you type the text that you want to search. So let me search for the term uh, memory. So I'm gonna start typing memory. And as you can see, the word is highlighted on the first occurrence that it found. Now, if I wanted to continue searching for more occurrences of the word memory, maybe that's not the one I'm looking for. And I wanna continue finding. So I would hit enter and it brings me back to this cursor. And then for the next occurrence, I just type in the character or the letter N. So I type in N, it moves uh, the cursor to the next occurrence. If I type in M again, it moves it to the next occurrence. And maybe this is where I wanna make the change. And you know, memory consumption, maybe I wanna make this value something else. So that's how I would use the, use the search term. But if you wanna continue finding the next uh, occurrence of memory, just hit N again and it goes to the next line. Hit N again, next occurrence of memory. So that's how you do uh, searches within a file for a line of text or, or some word. Now the final command uh, that I want to show you is how to paste code. So that's another very common frequent uh, step that I have in many of my video tutorials. I ask you to copy a line of code and paste it into, uh, into a file. So let me show you that. I'm going to exit out of the PHP INI file. And I will open up 
the WP config file again. So again, I'm gonna use my up arrow key to go back to that command and hit enter. Maybe right here, I want to add the code for uh, allowing SSL traffic from our light cell distribution. Let's, let's do that. Um, and this was something I did just in my previous video where I showed you how to set up a uh, single CDN instance uh, for multiple websites. So I showed this uh, step there, so I'm gonna do that again. So right here, I want to insert a line of code or, or some lines of code. Um, so what I will do first is uh, enter paste mode. So to do that without being in um, default mode, so just hit escape maybe a couple of times, what you wanna do is type in colon set paste and then hit enter. Now we are in paste mode. Then we want to hit the I key for insert mode. And see, as you can see here, it's now in insert mode, but I can paste. So let's go to the page. So this is the code that we need to add to our WP config file. So highlight this, copy the, the code by right clicking and selecting copy or control C and then go back to your terminal window. And this is where we wanted to paste. So all we have to do now is hit shift insert. So the shift didn't show up here, but I did type in shift key plus insert key. And as you can see, the code that I just copied was pasted. And then to escape out of the, the insert paste mode, just hit escape. Now you're escaped, and then to save the file, you can just do colon WQ, and you're save the file and exit it out of it. Um, many times, depending on the SSH terminal, I've seen that you can actually paste using the right click of your mouse as well. So let me show you that. Um, let's say if I wanted to uh, restart Apache, right? And this is one command, uh, sudo, and then the path to restart Apache. So I would copy this, and then let's go back to our terminal window. And if I just hit right click right here, you see how I copied that line of code? So sometimes this works as well in many places. One place that it does not work is in the web-based SSH terminal. So here, if you open up the web-based SSH terminal, you cannot just right click. So as you, as you can see here, if I right click, that restart command should show up, but it doesn't. Instead, I have our browser's right, uh, right click menu. Here you can type in, or you could do paste as plain text, and that does paste it. However, um, it just doesn't paste it if you just hit right click. So just keep that in mind. Um, I think those were the items that I wanted to show you. And this basically is a very small tutorial to just show you uh, your way around VI Editor as I do it in many of my tutorials. Hopefully this helps you. Um, if you found this video useful, uh, do give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions, please note them in the comments below. Uh, this is certainly doesn't cover all the commands of VI, so certainly go look at other tutorials out there that help you uh, with learning more about VI. Find this video useful. Don't forget to share it. Uh, subscribe to the channel so that uh, you get uh, notified when I uh, put out more video tutorials like these. Uh, do check out all of my previous videos. I have over 50 plus videos on setting up web hosting services on the LightSail platform, uh, as well as the AWS environment. Um, so go ahead and check those out if you haven't already. And until the next video, take care.